January 23rd versus Butler had been circled on the calendars of many Explorer fans since the day of the schedule release. Entering the game ranked ninth nationally, the Bulldogs were the highest ranked squad to ever visit Gola Arena. We, we got Butler, one of, the, one, of the, one of the biggest programs in NCAA history, you know, coming to LaSalle, you know, coming to the Tom Gola. So who wouldn't be excited, you know? Despite the magnitude of the matchup, the Explorers would begin the game with their leading scorer on the bench. Ramon and I met in the office and I said, Ramon, I'm not going to start you because I want you to have your discipline and your focus at, at the absolute highest level. And uh, he accepted that challenge. So Ramon didn't start, his mind might have not been in the right place, but as a basketball player, you got to kind of like focus and just clear everything out of your mind and just move on to the next. And I think he did that. He started out kind of slow. Um, I just told him to fight through, you know, he's a strong individual. I had the worst game probably, you know, out of my two years here at LaSalle, but, you know, at the same time, I stuck with it. You know, my teammates stuck with me. You know, the whole game, you know, they kept telling me to shoot, and they kept telling me to play hard. They kept telling me next play, don't worry about it, get a stop. As the second half was winding down, Tyrone Garland had a simple message for his friend and struggling teammate. Towards the end of the game, I pulled him to the side, I said, you're going to win this game for us. And I remember Todd just telling me, like, listen, keep your head up, you're going to win the game for us. That's exactly what he told me. Galloway's miserable evening was rendered moot with the ball in his hands and his team down one in the game's closing seconds. The ball is in my hand, we didn't have no timeouts, and uh, I kind of get over half court and I kind of glance at Coach G first because it was like eight seconds left on the clock, so I didn't want to go too fast where they can get up another shot. So I kind of paused, looked at Coach G for a second. When I looked at him, he just told me to go. So, like, by me stopping and looking and standing up, I guess he caught the defender, like, by shot because he kind of, like, stood up too. So then when I seen Coach G say go, I just went. And uh, I didn't care who was there. I didn't, I just laid the ball up. Jones go to the rack left. Good! With 2.7 seconds to go. Here comes the inbounds. Smith will inbounds to Jones. Jones from midcourt puts it up and no good! They've done it! The Explorers have done it! Finally getting over the hump! They defeat the Butler Bulldogs! The highest ranked victory for an Explorer team! The pandemonium of the court storming symbolized the euphoria each Explorer fan in attendance felt at the buzzer. Crowd went crazy. Storm the court, uh, one of the best moments of my life, actually the best moments of my life. It's, I don't think there's any other feeling than having your crowd rush the floor on you and just seeing how happy everybody is. Like as far as the alumni and then the students, I think people were talking about that game for like the next two, three weeks. But a unique end game scenario gave the entourage an opportunity that made the goal rush even more special. And then all of a sudden, Kevin Casey's telling everybody to get back into the stands. And Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? We would ask all students, please clear the floor. The game is not over. They have been two times because the refs stopped the game. To this day, I don't know how or why they reviewed it because, so this, that remains one of the more bizarre things that I've experienced on the air. I'm just... Galloway's resiliency has always shined through the adversity thrown his way never exhibited more than in the waning seconds of the biggest win of his college career. I told him, I told you he was going to do that. You're just that type of player. And just to see him emotional like that just goes to show that um, how much he loved his game, how much he loved his teammates and his family. I just love being around people I consider family. And, and by me playing in that game and being around my teammates, it, it did a lot for me because it took my mind off of everything. Like that win took my mind off of a lot that I was going through, that was going on with me. And it, just, it, it meant a lot. Our whole team did a great job, but I think Ramon responding to a challenge, I think Ramon's uh, leadership, uh, I think that Ramon in that game, having the ability to make that great, team, that great play is, is something that we'll always remember. With their head in the clouds following the win over Butler, the Explorers faced another monster, 19th ranked VCU and their rabid fan base at the Siegel Center.